Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on mysterious and weird true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 758, written by Concert Sufficient 966, a very wet quantum immortality. A friend of mine who's always talking about metaphysics, twilight zone simulation type stuff, loves this type of stuff and keeps telling me to post this. In fact, no doubt he'll see this. Hey Zane. Anyways, here's my story. Two weeks ago, I was about to get ready for a party at 6. Just before I started to get ready, one of my friends messaged me, super excited because of a boy she's had a crush on for the last 4 years finally asked her out and he was coming with her to the party. While I was texting her back, my younger brother walked into my room and asked if I could drive him to his friend's house, which I agreed to do. Then I went to the bathroom to have a shower and to do my makeup. So I got into the shower, but when I went to wash my hair, I realized that my conditioner was finished. I was pretty ticked off because I had only bought it a couple days beforehand and it's an expensive brand. My younger sister always uses up my thing, so I knew she'd used it all. She'd also trashed the bathroom, leaving water everywhere and her dirty towel on the floor. Naturally, I was pissed off and I was about to get out of the shower in order to tell her off and to get some more conditioner. But as I went to get out, I realized at the last second that she'd kicked out the grippy mat that we have on the bottom of our shower tub. Our shower tub is super slippery without the grip mat. So as I went to step out, my foot slipped and I fell with my neck down onto the edge of my tub. Time seemed to slow down in my head, and I remember my last thought was, wow, is this how I die? How stupid. But here's the thing, at the moment of impact, I woke up back in my bed. I know it sounds stupid and cheesy, like something from a dumb Netflix show, but there's literally no other way to describe what happened. I was lying in bed right before I got up to shower the first time, but I don't remember falling asleep. And the thing is, I've been a lucid dreamer for the last 5 years or so, and if this was a dream, it was way more vivid than anything I've ever experienced prior. What weirded me out though, was that the exact same friend who texted me the first time, messaged me after I woke up to tell me that the boy she had a crush on had asked another girl out, and she was pretty bummed out about it and didn't want to come to the party. I was weirded out that there was some similarity between that and the dream, but didn't think too much of it at first. As I went to reply, my younger brother came in to ask if I would take him to his friend's house. All the blood drained from my face. He just stood in the doorway looking confused and asked me what was wrong. I rushed into the bathroom, feeling like I was losing my freaking mind, and went to check the conditioner bottle. I know this sounds completely crazy, but the bottle was finished just like before, and the grip mat was kicked up. At that point, I went to lie back down in bed and texted my friends to tell them that I wouldn't be going to the party because they don't even understand how I'm alive. Case notes for file 758. A very wet quantum immortality. So first off, I really hate messiness and disorder. So your sister sounds like a terror to live with. I don't know, it's hard to process that. If you live in a messy environment, then you just, you can't process your own reality. It's like manifesting your own disorder. Like we all have uh, chaos in us, but if we let it escape into the real world, then it compounds on itself and amplifies until it becomes this mountain that you can't escape from. Like the people who are hoarders. I have no idea how they function, and honestly, they don't. That's the problem. So I try to keep my place as tidy as I can, and also I'm a minimalist, which just means that I try not to buy things or use things that I don't need. I only engage with things that will benefit me, at least as far as I can tell. That's the idea. Keep your life simple and manageable and don't let disorder ruin it. Now to the glitch, this does happen quite a few times where quantum mortality events translate into a time rewind. So you reset back in time a few minutes prior to taking the shower. And my theory on that is, when we die, our soul has to go to a different universe if there's another copy of us that exists somewhere. But it has to be the closest one. Maybe this is some sort of power issue related to the simulation, transferring a soul further 
is just more expensive in terms of energy or processing time. So you go to the nearest universe, and sometimes if in that universe uh, you are you did die too, then it just rewinds to a few moments before, and then well you still have the memories of what happened, so you don't make the same mistakes, which is rather nice. Bonus file written by a paradise circus, an old lady, the multiverse queen. I'm gonna cut straight to the chase on this one. About two weeks ago, I had just finished returning a pair of headphones to Big Lots because they were child-sized. When I walked out of the store, this older woman walked into Big Lots. We passed each other outside. I enjoy complimenting random strangers when I go out, and so I commented to her that I like her dress. It was a pretty dress. She said, Thank you, I like your pants. I had on these rather boho pants that day. Anyway, I got in my car and instantly drove to Goodwill to see if there was anything worthwhile there. I'm opening up a holistic center and I like to check Goodwill to see if there's anything I can use. When I enter the store, I instantly walk towards the back, bypassing all the clothes. Then, I see the same older woman wearing the same dress with a shopping cart of a few miscellaneous things she found in Goodwill. I did not stop at any other stores between Big Lots and Goodwill. I did not take a while in my car. I instantly started it and drove down the road to Goodwill. It's only about two minutes away by car. I made a right-hand turn onto transit after leaving Big Lots and a right-hand turn into the parking lot where Goodwill is. The time that elapsed between seeing the woman entering Big Lots and seeing her in Goodwill had to have only been five minutes. Even if she instantly turned around and left the store, it makes no sense that she would have not only gotten there before me, but also had enough time to shop. She had about three to four things. I did not notice any time lapse. I do recall looking at the clock before I left Big Lots, and then when I arrived, as the car was shutting off, she didn't speak to me. She saw me though, and she didn't blink twice. No acknowledgement. Case notes for the bonus file. The Multiverse Queen. So there are two plausible explanations for this. The first is that she indeed just left the big lots really quickly for some reason and then drove like a bat out of hell to Goodwill and beat you there. It's unlikely, very true, but it's not impossible. The other possibility is that she has a twin sister. And this is more common than you might expect. It's about 1 in 250 births have twin sisters. Or twins in general, not just sisters. And I mean identical, not just twins that sort of look the same. Of course, this doesn't make it exactly an um, easy explanation, because even if she has a twin, why would she be there too? I guess it's possible that they stick around each other close by and we're going to shop in different stores and they just, oh, we'll, we'll split our load and I'll go here, you go there. I could see that, sure. And third explanation, that is a glitch, is a new universe. So you died while driving, which is actually pretty common. It's funny, we're the most likely explanation is that you died. We kind of treat death a bit lightly around here, don't we? <laughs> you know, yeah, so you just, you died and now this is what happened and, you know, no big deal. <laughs> Anyways, so you died while driving there, which is very likely. Not very likely, but certainly possible. In this other universe, very similar. The old lady is still around, but she just was in Goodwill instead of Big Lots. I could see that. Absolutely. There was no time lapse, although that wouldn't really mean anything as we just covered in the previous story where sometimes time can rewind if it has to. So in if this is what happened, you were in a different universe and in that one you just didn't die at all. Whatever car accident you got into in the original universe. And these are the possibilities. There's also the possibility of it being a doppelganger. But typically when I read doppelganger stories, there's some sort of atmosphere, uh, something is wrong, like the aura of the doppelganger is all off and you know this isn't right, I shouldn't be around this thing. I'm not quite leaning towards that, but I also wouldn't discount it. It's fun to consider all possibilities, just in case.